sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. It says our sons and our daughters will be given unto another people. Who did that happen to? What nation of people had their sons and their daughters ripped away from them and had no strength to get them back? Us. That's a, that's, the Bible is prophetic. It's telling us about it. This is your history, Alex. This isn't just the world economic, the world history of, of all nations. This is our history book. You follow? Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. He says we will look and fail with longing for them all the day long, meaning we won't be able to get them back. Read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. There shall be no strength in our hands to get our children back. Who did this curse fit? Who does this fit today in 2023? Are the churches teaching our people that we are the children of Israel? No. Why are they not? Why are they hiding this information from us? Why are they not telling us the truth about who the Bible is actually talking to? Second, Second Corinthians chapter 10. Because this is what happened. We were given another doctrine. We were shown false theologies. We were given another man's religion by those that oppressed us. You understand that? They, uh, they oppressed us and they gave us gifts. They gave us holidays. They gave us birthdays. Right. They said, it's okay. Come as you are. Leave as you want. Right. They said, follow white man Jesus. Oh, you don't want to follow? We'll just follow this, that, and the third. And now our people are destroyed. You understand? Read. Second Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. It says, for if he that cometh, this he is referring to a nation of people who came and got another people. Who came and took another people? Read. Read again. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. Preacheth another Jesus. The nation that came and oppressed our people, they took us from the coast and throughout Africa and enslaved us and shipped us off. He came and brought another Jesus. Dang, we reading about history. Our people willfully follow these images of Christianity, the doctrines of Christianity, seven day Adventist, Jehovah Witness, Baptist, Mormonism, whatever, all of them. They all lies. They all don't teach our people the truth. Read. Whom we have not preached. The Bible didn't preach anything about a white Jesus, stringy hair, blue eyes. Come on. Or if ye receive another spirit. What does Christianity give our people? Or if ye receive another spirit. What do these false religions give our people? If ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, Read. or another gospel, another what? Another gospel, which ye have not accepted, Read. ye might well bear with him. Our people are bearing with the hands of our oppressors because we've received another spirit. We received another gospel. But the Bible never spoken about that. You understand? Christ prophesied that many will come in my name saying I am Christ and shall deceive many. You understand that? That's, that's, that's prophetic. You want me to show you that real quick? Let's see it. Matthew 24. Let's see it. So what are you doing to get yourself right? Did you know we got to keep the laws? Do you know we got to keep come back to the high holy days, the Passover, the Feast of Pentecost, keeping the Sabbath day holy, wearing fringes? Have you ever have you heard of wearing fringes? Well, we're going to show you the commandments, brother. Read Matthew chapter 24 and verse five. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ and shall deceive many. So Many have came. In the name of Christ, in the name of Christianity, and deceived many of our people and still are to, to this day. So much that they'll say um, the law's done away with. We don't have to keep the Lord's Sabbath day. I see you got a beard on your face. Watch this. Did you know it was a beard? It was a law that men not shave their beards? Did you know that? No, why not? Because they don't teach us. Leviticus 21. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon thy head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. That's a law. You got that? You got it right there, brother. Clean it up. Keep it nice, but just don't cut it. The Bible said that, that the men should keep the beard on his face. I'm going to show you another uh, another commandment. Give me the, give me the Sabbath. Because this is something we got to learn. You got to apply these. When you leave here today, you seem like you got a humble spirit, brother. You came here to learn something. All praise to the most high God for that. Y'all pray. Uh, just right now at home, but it's, you know, I was like, I'm going to, you know. You're going to pull up on it. You gave us two minutes of your time, brother. That's a great and humble spirit that our people, a lot of our people don't have. They ain't got the time, but they for God, bro. But you chose to set time aside for God. How often do you see in our communities black men standing up and reading the Bible?
You said, bro, I got to pull up on these men. They doing something. You gave your time, Alex, and that's that's honorable, man. That's all praise for that. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. God says to do what? Remember the Sabbath day. Remember the Sabbath day. Why? Because we would forget it. We would be disconnected from it. We would no longer keep the Sabbath day. We will be forced not to keep the Sabbath day. Read. To keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day. But which day? The seventh day. What is the seventh day of the week? Which day of the week? Which day? Of the, you got to count it on your phone, right? What's the first day of the week? And then what's the last day of the week? Last day of the week Sunday. Let's open up a calendar. Your brother got a calendar. He going to look. Show, show you them little letters at the top. Little letters at the top of the calendar, right? What's the far left say? What, what letter is that? Yes. What does that stand for? Sabbath. Sunday. Sunday. Then it got an M for what? Monday. Monday. So the first day of the week is what? Sunday. Mm. Seventh day of the week is what? The last day is what? Saturday. You got me, right? Read, let's read the let's read the Bible again. Read. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day. But the seventh day of the week, read, is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So we're not so with the Sabbath, we're suppo it's supposed to be set apart. It's supposed to be holy. It's supposed to be different. But guess what? Those that oppress us, they, they change the calendar. They change it up on us. They change the day we're supposed to go to go worship God. Watch this. Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the most high. So this he is talking about a nation of people again. They speak words against God. Saying what? Come on. And shall wear out the saints of the most high. Read. And think to t change times. And do what? And think to change times and laws. Change times and laws. The Bible letting us know what was going to happen. You, you follow. We Who changed the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday? It wasn't God. It was man. You understand? It was our oppressors. They changed the Sabbath. But God says, come back to it. God says, remember it because you will be torn apart from your history, from your heritage, from who you are. It's time we wake up and come back. It's time we wake up and come back to God's heritage, our laws, the statutes, the commandments. This is our history. This is our heritage. We're not just African-Americans. We're not just Negroes. We're not just coloreds. We are the children of Israel. We got to come back to God's law statues. That's what we are here to tell our people. Read, read what you got. Uh, Deut uh, Exodus chapter 20 and verse 10. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy son. We're not supposed to do any work. Did you know that? The Sabbath day is supposed to be a day of rest. But what are our people doing? We go to church on Sunday. That's contrary to what God said. All these people coming back from church right now. Who set that up to go to church on Sunday? Who 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 the Bible just say set it would set it up? Our oppressors. You understand? Give me Ecclesiastes 7 to 7. Because this is what happened. They've they've given us Sunday. They get they, they let you eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster and tell you you can eat anything as long as you pray over it, and that's not of God. God doesn't say you can eat pork now. He didn't say you could eat chitlins, pig uh intestines. He didn't say you could do that. He said it's unclean to you, Alex. Do you eat pork? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. yes. We all used to. We all, A lot of us used to. Listen, I ain't never ate no chitlins, though. I'll be damned. I'll be damned, bro. Seeing my auntie clean them things out, poop out, and then you go put some hot sauce on it and eat it? Hell no. I ain't doing that. You going to miss me with that. Listen, read the Bible. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. The oppression that we see our people in, Alex, it's making us mad. Read. And a gift destroyeth the heart. So these gifts are what? Christianity. These gifts are what? Mother's Day. Father's Day. Come on. Grab that flyer, big dog. Grab that flyer real quick. These uh, these gifts have are making our people mad. This is insane. Now, we can take all the oppression, all the atrocities and say, you know what? We're going to pray for them. Come on, sis, grab this flower real quick. We're trying to show our people who we are according to God. It's high time the black man, Hispanic, Native American man wake up. We are the children of Israel. It's high time we come back to our God-given nationality. There's no mistake that you rolled up on us today, bro. We need men. We need the women, the, the children to come back to God's chosen people.
come back as God's chosen people. You got what I want? Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time. It said, knowing the time, Alex. It's time to keep the Sabbath day, not work. Did you know there's other stipulations with the Sabbath? We're not supposed to buy, sell, cook. You can have food. You got leftovers. You can eat a salad, stay healthy. You got a family, you got children at home. No, just yourself, right? Hey, this is how we keep the Sabbath. No buying, selling, or cooking. No working. I used to work on Saturdays. You understand? I was a trainer. I'm a trainer. I can't work on Saturdays no more. God said, not because, oh, I just choose. Nah, nah, nah. No, God said don't work. If I believe in him, there must be actions behind it. Do you understand that? So what are you going to do? Knowing you can't do that no more. What are you going to do? What should you do, Alex? Stand by the laws. Stand by the laws. Exactly. Stand by God, brother. You understand? Uh, Yeah. The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 60. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. That's what we're trying to get you to do, brother. What did David just say? I made haste. You know what it means to make haste? To do something quickly. Let's go, child. Let's go. And delayed not and didn't delay to keep thy commandments. You didn't delay to keep the commandments, to keep the beard on your face, brother, to get fringes on your shirts. You need some help getting some fringes? We got you. We got people, we got sisters in the body that know how to sew them on. Whether you whether you put them on like this, something simple, on the bottom of a t-shirt like that, or you add them on to any other shirt you want, to our women's dresses. You understand? These are things that you're make you're not making you're making haste to do, you're not delaying. Do you understand? Any other questions? Or thoughts now? You get, you might have some thoughts churning, some thoughts rolling. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? Holler at me, bro. Similar, you know, I'm taking it in, but like, you know, yeah. this is something that I've been kind of like, you know, just aware about, but mm -hmm. haven't been this fully committed in the tune into it. Okay. Have you been exposed to a platform like this? No. This is, this is going to help push you, brother. Seeing the men of God in front of you, listen, we all used to be there. We had that curiosity. We had a homeboy that was telling us about it. You understand? We had a brother that was doing it, but we weren't in it all the way either. But now God says it's time to wake up. We just read in Romans 13, we got to come out that sleep. You're in a slumber right now, brother. You're, you're kind of, you're fiddling around, you're, you're fumbling. But God's saying, uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 22. God's saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. You understand? This is the way that we got to move. You're hearing the vision that, that God has given our people, our men to take the forefront on. You got what I want? 32, 30, and 22. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 22. Ye sh verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. Come on. The Lord gave us, our people. That's why we do. That's why we overcame tribulations. That's why we've endured since slavery. That's why we under, uh, we've gone past Jim Crow laws, black codes, still getting knees on our necks, and we're still enduring until this day. We've gone through the adversity that we can see the world put our people in. It's high time we wake up and recognize that we are a special people unto God. Right. Read. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Thy teachers, the true prophets of God, the true teachers of God, you're going to see them in the streets waking our people up. It's not going to be in a pulpit. It's not going to be on Sunday service tap dancing with Sunday's best clothes on. Right. It's not going to be asking for your tithe money, brother. It's going to be showing you the true word of God, thus saith the Lord. It's, you understand that? Read. But thine eyes shall look, shall see my, thy teachers, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee. So you're seeing the true teachers of God, and you're hearing the words now. You said, I've kind of been hearing this a little bit here and there, but now I'm hearing the words of God. Come on. Saying, this is, saying, this is the way. We're saying you what? This is the way, Alex. Meaning what? Following Christ. Following God. Read. Walk ye in it. This is how you got to move. This is how you got to repent. This is how you got to come back and keep the law, statutes, and commandments, brother. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Time.
Oh! <laughs>